finally tonight, Pope Francis has appointed a special envoy for a celebration next week in honor of St. Thomas Aquinas. Cardinal Marcelo Cimarero will lead the festivities in honor of the 700th anniversary of the canonization of St. Thomas Aquinas. Today, the Holy Father reflected on the life of the doctor of the church in a letter written in Latin. Pope Francis said St. Thomas Aquinas, quote, never had an air of superiority and instead was guided by charity. We go now to Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, great to be with you today. What can you tell us about the upcoming celebrations for the 700th anniversary of the canonization of St. Thomas Aquinas? Yeah, Tracy, just yesterday, the Holy See Press Office published a letter by Pope Francis to Cardinal Samararo. Now, he's the head of the dicastery for the causes of the saints. And next week, this cardinal will preside over a mass in the Abbey of Fossa Nova in Italy, the place where St. Thomas died. Cardinal Samararo will celebrate, as you said, the 700th anniversary of the canonization of St. Thomas Aquinas. And this is very fitting as the cardinal oversees the church's office, which is responsible for vetting sainthood and for preparing canonizations. And the letter came in a language St. Thomas used for his writings, namely in Latin. And that's quite remarkable, I would say, as nowadays most communications from Pope Francis are, of course, issued in common languages such as Italian, English, or Spanish. And in his letter, Pope Francis pointed to St. Thomas's biggest achievement. He said that he was investigating the divine mysteries with reason while contemplating them with fervent faith. And this combination of faith and of reason, of science and religion, brought a new era in European academia of that time. Indeed. And in what ways does he remain relevant today? Well, you know, Tracy, there's this famous story of Thomas being nicknamed by his fellow students the dumb ox, both because of his size and the fact that he was slow in speech. His teacher at the time prophesied then that St. Thomas's bellowing in doctrine would one day resound throughout the world. And his philosophical and theological thinking really have become defining for the church. You know, his main work, the, the Summa Theologica, including his famous discussion of the proofs for the existence of God, to this day, it's still one of the most important theological readings. And also Pope Francis called him a resource for the church today and also stressed that his saintly lifestyle should impress us. But he was very clear that it's, it was his saintly lifestyle that should impress us and not so much his academic achievements. And Andreas, uh, before I let you go, I know you're speaking to us from a really remarkable background. Uh, tell us more about that and where you are right now. So right now we're at the Urbaniana University and I'm standing actually on the top of the guest house that is housing our summer academy, our EWTN summer academy, where we invited more than 30 young professionals from 20 countries around the globe, young journalists, to spend 10 days with us here in Rome. And we help them get equipped and also help, help them grow their skills in video journalism, but also to, to understand more about their Catholic faith. So we really want to build a tightly knit community of Catholic influences who are willing to go out in the world and bring the good news to the ends of the earth. And uh, one of the lecturers here actually was the current rector of the Angelicum. This is the Pontifical University run by the Dominicans. And also St. Thomas Aquinas was a Dominican. So also here we did discuss the combination of faith and reason and how important it is to combine both of them also for evangelization today. Well, Andrea, so great to be with you, and thank you so much for that report. We appreciate it.